So it is good to be back. This is the last night of the tour. Good to be back in Glasgow. <laughs> good to come back to Glasgow because you can speak. You know, when you travel with a Scottish accent, it's kind of hard. Nobody understands anything you're saying. You know, I've done a few. I've done a few TV shows. I'm a pretty fucking big deal. You know? <laughs> I'm serious news. No, I've done a few TV shows. And you've got a Scottish accent on the telly, you need to try and enunciate it and use proper English, but it's hard to find the right balance, because no matter how hard you try to enunciate and use proper English, there's still somebody from Lemington Spa. <laughs> <laughs> we saw you on the television. I didn't quite understand everything you were saying. <laughs> Didn't quite catch it. Some of it a bit over my head. Your accent is really quite strong. You've got a really thick Scotch accent. Didn't quite catch <laughs> everything you said. Whilst there's somebody in Scotland saying, We've seen you on the telly talking like a fucking bender. <laughs> Care to explain yourself? <laughs> A big political guy, Scottish independence. That's ah, been getting talked about. But we're having a <laughs> couple of fucking freedom. Yes. Yeah. People burn, people cheer. I don't think anything's going to get resolved at a comedy show. But <laughs> feel free to vent your opinions. <laughs> 2014. That's when they're having the referendum. That's because it's 700 years after the Battle of Bannockburn. That's to get us fucking patriotic. And you, you know we're going to show Braveheart the night before that referendum. <laughs> STV, 9 o'clock, as sure as fuck, Braveheart. <laughs> I reckon we should also show train spotting, just to even it. <laughs> when fucking freedom, that's us. Oh, that's also us. Well, the war on terror, that was supposed to be Obama's thing. The war on terror is going to end that. Obama, they get quite excited. Have we got any, have we got any Americans in the room? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just one guy doing a shite accent. <laughs> and I don't know when they come to Glasgow, the Americans, they visit Edinburgh when they come. Have got any Edinburghers? <laughs> <they're called? laughs> Big boo for Edinburghers. I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but I've never really heard the term Edinburghers. No, when you hear a conversation, I don't mean this in a disparaging way. You hear a conversation in Scotland, there's an Invernesian, an Aberdonian, a Dundonian, a Glaswegian, and a cunt for Edinburgh. <laughs> You never hear Edinburghers, it's cunt for Edinburgh. That's what they're called. <laughs> Good to see we've got a few cunt for Edinburgh made it through. <laughs> I love the Americans in Edinburgh. Love them, they're enthusiastic. You know, up at Edinburgh Castle, the Americans thinking it's a high school. Because <laughs> they hear gunshots every lunchtime. I don't really have an opinion on Scottish independence. I suppose I, I'm, I'm in the fuck it, it'll be a laugh camp. <laughs> maybe fuck it, it'll be a laugh. Maybe 50 years' time, you'll turn on the National Geographic channel, see programmes like Scottish Border Cops. <laughs> <laughs> two, two guys in the airport interrogating some poor guy for fucking Lemington Spa. <laughs> No, like real cops, just uh, rock steady guys, not uh, G4S guys that have <laughs> swapped their personality for a high vis jacket. No, there you go. <laughs> I would watch that. Scottish border cops can throw the guy's bag. And what's this? It's a, it's a banana. Why, are those illegal? I never said they were illegal, pal, but we don't fucking like them. <laughs> Bus guy. I still take public transport. I'm a bus guy. I'm a bus. 
I take one of their kind of, not every area's got their rough bus, no one of their kind of Glasgow safaris that you get. <laughs> the number 40 bus. <laughs> it runs from Claybank to Easter House <laughs> via Drumchapel. as if they went Claybank to Easter House. I'm not sure that's mental enough. No, no. <laughs> we better stick this through Drum Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> the only bus I've seen three generations of the one family get on for a half fell. When you travel down south and you tell people you're from Glasgow, they get quite excited. They go, oh, Glasgow, yeah, it's really quite rough, isn't it? Really violent, yeah. And you kind of get proud. You go, oh, aye, oh, aye. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of tough guys. Oh, aye, a lot of tough guys. Yeah. <laughs> and they visit the place and they're a bit disappointed. You know, we've got, we're trying to get away from the stereotypes. We've got a, a new promotional tourist campaign called Glasgow Scotland with Style. Everybody seen the posters. It's one of these kind of homogenised posters of people supposed to be the new face of Glasgow. People with names like Nathan. <laughs> now every major city advertises the happy people like Nathan, and it's this guy's in the poster. Nathan, sales assistant, proud Glaswegian. I don't think a sales assistant called Nathan is a fair representation of any major city. <laughs> I think major cities should play up to their stereotypes on the billboards advertising your city. Show them real people like we, Mental Davy. <laughs> Apprentice Joiner. <laughs> Father of six. Davies there, in the billboard with the six kids all tucked into the one tracksuit. <laughs> a Lacoste tracksuit, and only the best for these kids. They're all dressed up for their granny's 30th. <laughs> <laughs> you've got the six kids, you've got Keanu, you've got Sigourney. Destiny, that's a new one I heard, Destiny. Imagine naming your daughter after the nightclub she was conceived in. <laughs> <laughs> this is Destiny and this is my son, the garage. <laughs> So we'll finish up, obviously, the DVD is about six months away, so we need to predict the future, or it's going to look pretty weird if you're watching the DVD and wonder, oh, how can we never mention the fact that North Korea blew the world up somewhere like that? <laughs> so what about England winning the World Cup, eh? <laughs> what about England getting fucked? <laughs> we'll wait and see what one of them makes the edit. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Have a great journey home, God bless.